black bear scat carnivorous analysis this is part two of a black bear scat analysis video and this is on the carnivorous part warning this is even less appropriate for the faint of heart if you do not like looking at scat please do not watch this also animals eating animals may not be pleasant for some people this skinny black bear just came out of hibernation and he's right by the caution bear in area sign how appropriate this is by me a study that I conducted myself by Gary J Ordog MD now bears are noted to be omnivorous that is they eat both plants and animals and they do eat a lot and have a large scat which is fairly easy to recognize uh, this is three-year-old boo-boo I saw her every day uh, during this study and uh, she's also known as scar nose because of the scar on the right side of her nose but something uh, must have scratched her or attacked her or maybe she stuck her nose where it shouldn't have been anyway uh, she is one of my friends uh, the study involved black bears only not these big brown bears as in this photograph so this study black bears only and uh, currently we only have black bears in our area also there are no white bears in this study as there are no white bears here uh, but you can see they're very large as well uh, you don't want to meet one of these as they are strictly carnivorous okay this study took place here on its 50 resident black bears. So Kanaka Creek Regional Park uh, is a small park uh, in the Maple Ridge area and uh, there's approximately 50 resident black bears in the area. The scat of those was the one studied. Three times per week the park was surveyed and all bear scat that I could find was analyzed as to what was in the food that the bear was eating as well as photographs taking, taken. Uh, there was no uh, DNA analysis. This was, was just done on visualization analysis. The diet sources through the SCAT showed that 90% of their diet was plants. This study reports only the meat portion of uh, their diet. So only 10% of their diet which is meat and salmon was the main meat. Now there's always a few salmon in the river but they do run in the autumn and so there's a big run uh, such as this sockeye that's obviously uh, spawning or has spawned and uh, these are the ones that come up the creek and up the rivers uh, to spawn. But the salmon only run for about a month that and uh, this is again in the autumn so this did show up in their scat. The dead spawn salmon do last a bit longer and the bears do obviously love to eat even uh, rotting uh, carcasses of the uh, dead spawned salmon that often wash up on the beach of the creek. But during the salmon run up the Kanaka Creek this meat source is plentiful so uh, it was noted to be in their scat as you will see in the photographs uh, later so here's a black bear and Kanaka eating uh, salmon uh, here's a black bear eating the carcass of a deer with the entrails in its mouth but there was no evidence that I could find that bears were eating deer in our park. Now this unfortunately is a black, I'm sorry, a brown bear because I could not find pictures of a black bear eating a squirrel but uh, there were lots of squirrels in the diet and there were lots of squirrels, hair, fur, uh, tails, everything in in the scat of the black bears. Now black bears begin eating skunk cabbage after hibernation 
and this acts as a purgative. And here's a black bear eating a field of skunk cabbage. It's one of the few animals that will actually or can eat uh, skunk cabbage that is it is somewhat toxic to most. Skunk cabbage only blooms in approximately April, April and that's exactly when the bears come out of hibernation. So the first thing that they find, the first plant that blooms is the skunk cabbage. And so they eat that, it loosens up their bowel obstruction. Then they start eating other plants, berries, nuts, other plant material, such as these dandelions, grass, as a large part of their diet. Uh, for example, here's a black bear eating a pumpkin. So apparently they do love pumpkin and as I will show you later, or watch the other video, you can see uh, scat that is composed of mainly pumpkin. Here's a black bear eating rose hips. So they even eat rose hips. High in vitamin C and flavonoids which are good for their metabolism and uh, a, an essential vitamin, vitamin C. So here's one eating rose hips. Okay, black bear, here's one eating carrion, dead meat. Uh, there was a bit of this found in the scat, um, but the bear would have to find and uh, maintain control of a dead animal. Sometimes roadkill would be evident. Uh, here's a brown bear, unfortunately, eating a black bear. And uh, this was pretty sad, but uh, I found no evidence of bears eating bears. Uh, I did not find any trash in the scat study, so that to me was a good finding. Uh, all of the garbage cans in the area are bear proof with the special bear locks, and bears cannot get into them. So again, that proved uh, useful as uh, none of the bear scats had signs of uh, garbage, such as what this bear is doing. Um, so again, a uh, good sign for the park, good sign for uh, bear relations with uh, humanity. Okay, now we start on the analysis of the scat. Here's a uh, whole rodent. Uh, scat, multiple rodents, pieces, uh, bones, uh, body parts, uh, fur, tails, etc. in the scat. And here's the scat of a whole squirrel. And uh, the back, furry back, is actually visible on the uh, right of uh, the scat. Um, they do not chew their food that well, so it is fairly easy to recognize what the bear has actually been eating. Here's another one that is full of whole rodents, uh, the bones, the body parts, and lots of uh, fur. So the bears eat the whole rodent intact, don't chew it very well, and it comes out fairly recognizable in the scat. Here's another one. Uh, this was probably a or several rodents and a squirrel uh, it is full of brownish, lightish, beige colored uh, fur and hair and tail, etc. Okay, here's more uh, animal meat products in the scat of the black bear found in Kanaka Park. And again, this is uh, meat from salmon in this case. So this was during salmon season. Uh, here's more meat obviously visible and it's uh, uh, possibly uh, carrion in this case as it looks uh, rather um, uh, not even digested but uh, murky looking. <laughs> uh, the meat here is rodents. These are multiple animal parts. Multiple rodents uh, the uh, visible animal parts, including uh, fur, skin, tails, etc., skull, bones, all the bones. Here's a uh, salmon scat with other things as well, but uh, the meat in this case was uh, 
uh, digested or partially digested, partly chewed salmon. So again, that's an uh, analysis of the carnivorous part of, of their scat. So even though 90% of their diet was plant material, uh, the other 10% is carnivorous or meat, uh, animal products, which uh, we have delineate, delineated in this uh, video. Uh, only for about a month do they eat salmon that is added to the diet when the salmon are running mainly uh, they can catch the salmon and also the carrion salmon the salmon that are spawned die and then lay either in the water or on the uh, banks of the creek uh, a high proportion of the meat in the stool was squirrels and rodents and those are significant meat sources uh, unfortunately I couldn't find a picture of a black bear eating a squirrel but here's a brown bear eating a squirrel just to uh, give you an illustration of that uh, some of the meat a very small amount of the meat was uh, carrion and so if they find uh, roadkill if they uh, find uh, that some other carnivore has killed an animal the, the bear is stronger able to take over the animal in some cases and uh, eat that. Now in this study I found no trash in the diet so again that's a good sign. Uh, this is a bad bear going through uh, trash. How it got the trash I don't know. But uh, that obviously looks like a full garbage bag of uh, trash and it's uh, already eaten the yogurt out of the yogurt, con yogurt container. Uh, but that did not happen in our study. Now this is just one small part and so the results should not be generalized. Uh, this could be applied only to part of the Kanaka Creek Regional Park System. And again, uh, obviously I did not find every stool or every bear that ever uh, took a stool or a scat or uh, deposited a scat in the park. So. The study is obviously not 100% complete. And this is one small park called Kanaka. This does not represent all other parks uh, and maybe a start for other studies. Uh, again, the study was done here at the Kanaka Creek Regional Park and only black bears are used to be brown bears, but they've all been driven north to my understanding. Uh, so there are no black bears in this study or in the area anymore, at least at present. So stay safe. Yes, uh, I do specialize in bear injuries. Thank you for all of your kind support over the years and the awards that I've been able to receive. And yes, I worked for the park system in the 1970s. This was actually 1972. Please subscribe to my free channel. Press on my caricature below. And it should be there now. Have a good life. And again, uh, have a good day too.